Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Keegan Ian. Now, there are a few things that got me in this week when I searched the internet. And especially when I looked up uh, certain YouTubers from a specific country, which is basically my country. So, there was just a trend that got to me and, um, <laughs> you know, I kind of have to express my thoughts about it. But before that, let me, let's just take a look okay so the first thing you do is just type in south african youtubers and boom one category vlog 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 do you see that's the thing i mean i type in south african youtubers and all i see are vlogs vlog of the vlog of the vlog q a vlog Vlog, story time, vlog, vlog, it's just vlogs, it's, I don't know, you know, it kind of got to me like, wow, that's the content coming out of South Africa. I mean, I look at, like, there are plenty of other YouTubers that I follow, you know, and when I look at, if you just look at everyone else that's not in South Africa, and you look at their content, it is way different. I mean, I don't know how many vloggers there are in on the in, on youtube but uh i haven't come across so many you know i didn't type in south african vloggers i typed in south african youtubers and all i got was vlogs so, so look i'm just saying but that's what's coming out of south africa and i have to be honest uh, i would like to see a few things that are different you know because we've had a few youtubers complain saying that the YouTubers from this country are saying that they don't get too much, don't get any support from YouTube, you know. So I don't know what. Look, I'm. I just started, so I don't know. I can't answer that. But that's what that YouTuber has said. Other than that, we have in South Africa the FPB, the Film Publications and Film Publications Board, and they have brought out a law. The president has signed the law. That uh, all content on any platform coming from that's in South Africa needs to be screened and the FPB needs to give permission of whether that content can be uploaded. Now that is something troubling because there are charges on like if we don't follow those rules, you know, like I don't even know even about doing this, but I'm not even sure about that. But uh, one thing is, is that uh if if you if you get red flagged uh there are chances that you will face a hefty fine face a sentence and on top of that if it's if it's a fine if it's a sentence one of the two or you get both so that's what we face here so there are a few but it's all like to protect the kids you know the online protection of kids you know because they want to stop revenge porn Someone send me revenge porn so I know what it is. No, don't don't send me revenge porn, please. Uh, what's the other one? Um, it's revenge porn. It's citing violence. It's basically it's everything that they do not agree with, you know. And uh, I guess it's also hate speech as well. I mean, you could be saying certain things about a certain governing body, and they will probably red flag you for that. You know, like we do not want you to do that. I don't know. You know, it's, it's, you could say it's, it's like silencing us, but that's here in South Africa. That's the FPB in South Africa. Then we have the FTC, which is the Federal Trade Commission. And they have agreed with YouTube, or YouTube has agreed with them that no kids content, like all kids content will not have ads, comments, uh, cards, basically those who are creators who are creating content for kids on YouTube will not get paid. On top of that, you have to mark whether your vids or your channel are for kids or are not for kids. And if you mark them as for kids, like as not for kids, and they screen your channel and they find content that a kid would watch, then they actually will fine you for that. Not even so warning, just like a straight fine. And that is $42,000. Now, 
I do not know if it's going to be 42,000 in my country. But if they say, no, it's dollars, then I know how much that's going to be. Because that will be like 600,000. So I'm not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy about that, you know. Because there are a lot of creators out there. Actually, a lot of people that watch, like they, they watch anime. I mean, it could be like Legos, Toys, Games. Stuff that would also appeal for kids actually do appeal for us as well. So, uh, you know, it's quite, that's actually quite troubling. So, I'm asking, please don't just fight the FTC. Please fight the FPB as well. You know, help us with that because it actually, because, I mean, it's, it's two, two bodies that have gone against content that is being released on YouTube and other platforms. So it's it's not actually great. It's like, uh, I'm not going to say the governing body around the world, but it seems like they're really cracking down on content that is being released from creators or even people that are just on a cell phone uploading bits. So, you know, it's, it's quite, it's not tough, but it does make things to be really difficult for the rest of us who just want to upload because it's fun and because... You know, people want to create the revenue from it as well. You know, especially when you have to go like with these regulations and the things that you like or might like, a child might like as well. And then you could get punished for that. You know, I don't think it's fair. So, yeah, guys, you know, that's what is currently happening. Basically, for all creators, that's what's happening in the country, in, in this country, in basically around the world if you consider the ftc it's it's around the world so yeah our content is being really regulated but these vloggers man <laughs> anyway i want to share a shout out to all those guys out there all those content creators who are vlogging not just vlogging but doing everything uh you know what guys keep flexing on top of that leave a like comment and please subscribe and if you want you can follow me on instagram at keegan underscore keygen